Hello everyone, I'm Daniel Chen from Coping Hood. And Coping Hood is a zero trading fee cryptocurrency exchange. So today I can tell you, uh, actually we might kind of different with the other teams because we already finished our ICO. So today let me introduce you Coping Hood and why you guys should use Coping Hood. Yeah, and first actually is the user friendly. Uh, we, we believe right now most people are not very familiar with the uh, uh, cryptocurrency trading. So we put a lot of efforts in, uh, we put a lot of efforts to make people uh, easy to use and easy to understand our user, user, is, uh, our user interface. So uh, I know it's kind of hard to understand that, uh, you know, just by looking to tell the UI is good or not. So, why not jump in cobinghood.com and try yourself out? And if you and if you find some, you know, some uh, rough uh, experience, you can just tell us, and we are more than willing to help you uh, to modify all the UI or all the uh, user experience for you. And the second for an ex uh, for an exchange actually is security. And right now, most of the uh, exchanges are claimed that uh, they are uh, war uh, safest, uh, safest, safest exchange in the world. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, actually we hired a war champion uh, white hat hacker team to hack our exchange every day. Because actually security is kind of like uh, insurance. You only can find out it's good or not afterwards. So we hired the war top a uh, white hat hacker team to hack our exchange every day. We want the afterwards happen in the controllable situation. And the third, of course, is a zero trading fee. Uh, I believe no one wants a Biden pie, so uh, we provide the zero trading fee. And actually, it's the reason why Cobin Hood called Cobin Hood, because unlike the other exchanges, you know, other exchange only privilege low speed well, who trading maybe uh, millions of dollars daily and they get like super low fee. But uh, actually we give everyone, we treat everyone the same, zero trading fee purely. So uh, with the zero trading fee, actually you actually get another uh, chance to try the high frequency chain. Uh, the high frequency trading it, uh, usually is only the big whale can play because, you know, uh, when you try to like uh, order, place the order, uh, place the order very frankly, then uh, if an exchange charge fees, then you you all the profit will just uh, eat by the trading fees. So uh, because we are. Uh, because we charge zero fee on trading. So how Coping Hood make profit? Actually, uh, there are a lot of people, uh, after, no, after they don't, we, are, we charge zero fee, and they approach us and asking us this question, how Coping Hood make profit? Actually, our revenue stream is, is from ICO underwriting. We help companies to launch their own ICO. Uh, before I jump in the introduction, I, I would like to introduce to everyone what is ICO. In short, ICO gives everyone a chance to invest in a company in the early stage. So uh, this is the roadmap for a company, you know, uh, the funding round company, uh, the funding round roadmap. So from the angel round, seed round, and all the way to the IPO. And before ICO comes up, uh, you know, people like me can only join a company, uh, can, can only invest in a company in the IPO stage. But after the ICO comes up, right now all of us have a chance to invest in uh, from a, a company from Angel Run to B Run. So uh, investing in a company in the early stage actually comes a, uh, like a huge profit but also comes a, a huge risk. So uh, for those ICO investors, I want to tell you guys, actually right now, if you ever invest in any ICO, 
right now you are actually an individual venture capital. You are actually an individual VC. So you should know the risk you are taking. So uh, because uh, we every day there are they are at least one ICO, uh, one at least one company or one team approaching us and want us to help them to launch their ICO. So uh, actually, we need to like review the companies, review the team, and also review some uh, already published. ICO project for token listing. So right now I'm gonna introduce you how we to uh, review a team a project for uh, for our ICO service. So the first is team. Uh, when we when we review the team, uh, we would like to dig deeper into the founders. If the founder, uh, if for example today, if some founder trying to run out. Uh, solar, solar related ICO. So the first thing is we will look into is the founder have related experience. Is this uh, guy uh, are capable of what they can in their white paper? And then second is their tech. Actually, is that uh, the tech here means the engineer power, because uh, I believe some people are thin. Maybe we have famous thought like uh, uh, ICO actually some, somehow caused the cryptocurrency bubble. But, uh, and we believe if the bubble did happen, if the bubble a blast, the only last standing company will be the, uh, will the, will be the company who have the strong engineer power. So uh, every time some company, something approaching us, and I will ask our uh, CTO, our engineer, to review all their tech, to see uh, their tech is solid or not. And the third, actually, is investors. Yeah. So, uh, so you guys might be wonder why, uh, why investors? Because uh, just like uh, the pitch deck earlier, I show you guys. Actually, right now, uh, most of the ICO cases is. Uh, launched by a company who might be at the angel stage or at the big wrong. So, so the investors not mean, uh, it's not meaning the ICO investor, but the VC investors. A team or a company have ever been investing, uh, invest by VC. That, mean, that means the VC must do their own due diligence. They have the chance to interview their founder to see uh, the founder is integrity or not. And they have the chance to review their financial status or they have the chance to uh, review their tech is solely or not. So actually if uh, ICO project they, or, I, or a team or a company have been investing by the uh, top tier VC and that's a big plus for us. So uh, yeah. Actually, we hold our uh, I we hold our uh, ICO picking status very high. So, for for example, right now, uh, just like what I said earlier, uh, right now we we have been uh, contacted by at one we we have been contacted by several companies and several teams. They want us to help them to launch ICO. So right now, our best criteria for the uh, ICO cases uh, is a company who is, uh, who is already evaluated at 100 million US dollar, or the founder have ever cashed out at least 100 million US dollar. Yep, so the, the, reason, the reason for that high, the reason we hold the, high, uh, hold the bar so high is uh, these days there are many ICO schemes. And even uh, recently we have a case, actually the, the case is funded by, funded by a Hong Kong public company. And at the very beginning, we thought they are, they are pretty solid because you know, a public company, they, they surely want, want to do something in the blockchain world. But uh, later we find out actually, the reason they're trying to launch an ICO is they want to 
they want to prove to the world that they are actually get into the blockchain world. So their stock price will just go rocket. So uh, later we just like uh, uh, terminate the contract between uh, us. Yeah. So. Uh, Okay, so maybe we just jump into our first ICO case. Uh, Cyber Miles is our first ICO case, and we help them to we help them to rise eighty four thousand ether within forty eight hours. Yeah, and basically, uh, right now the core of ICO actually is marketing, but the marketing here is not the traditional or the modern way marketing. Is the blockchain way marketing? So uh, there are a lot, a lot of projects. Actually, they are trying very hard using the modern day marketing techniques or the modern day uh, IC uh, marketing knowledge to do to push their ICO. But uh, I would say most most of them will spend a fortune on the ICO project, and sometimes that can never reach their hard cap. So. Uh, when we help Cyber Miles to roll out their uh, ICO, actually, our our mark, our main I would say the main difference between the modern day marketing and the blockchain marketing is the community. So uh, we help Cyber Miles to uh, roll out several community campaigns, and these campaigns help them to generate like uh, more than hundreds of hardcore supporters. And these hardcore supporters actually help them to uh, actually create a lot of high quality contents for them. And some of these hardcore supporters actually are influencers themselves. So uh, we, we, we use this kind of, a, of way in every ICO cases that uh, they come to us that we want to write. So the first step, the first step will always be Figuring some, uh, figuring some way to generate the hardcore supporters. And actually, the uh, Coping Hood is founded last year, Q2. And Cyber Mouse is approaching us last November. And we helped them to finish their uh, ICO within uh, around three weeks. So, uh, so actually, the upside or the what we what coping hood good at actually is like uh, conducting everything and protecting everything very fast. Our exchange have been on uh, last uh, December. Our exchange have been launched have been online. So uh, maybe you guys can check. And um, right now. Okay. Okay. So uh, our exchange has been online, and actually our next step is rolling out a decentralized exchange. Uh, our thought is like this. The first, at uh, this stage, we roll out a centralized exchange because right now there are, there are still are many uh, problems in the centralized exchange. So we try to fix all the uh, problems, and then with the user base, we, we uh, invite all the users into our decentralized exchange, and then we will have a Coping Hood Foundation. And the foundation, uh, basically, it, it will be a chain-based foundation. And we will start to helping uh, many companies, uh, many teams to to transfer their their, re, uh, their reality values into the on-chain values, and the third and the third basically is kind of like the uh, second point is uh, we will have a decentralized D app center to uh, I would say it would be some sort of like a App Store or Google Play, but it's in the but it's in the uh, blockchain world. Yes, and thank you. Thank you. So.